Hey, uh, welcome to uh, Paul's uh, planking video. Paul wants to uh, have a raised floor assembly, but he wants to have planking instead of plywood and floor joists. So I built the house here, and I built it on a slope right there, right? Oh, uh, let's start this over again. All right, so anyway, so let's go ahead and build our foundation. Build foundation. It's going to be a raised floor assembly, right? Blah, 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 blah. Maximum height of stem will make it eight feet just because I want. Yes, there we go. Now we got our uh, now we got our floor joists right. I'm going to turn on my automatic framing, uh, automatic floor and automatic wall framing right now. There we go. So we know what this looks like, right? Not a not a big deal. So all we need to do is go over here, all J, and uh, take a look at our framing. No, oh, let's turn on our walls foundation. Walls foundation. There it is, right there. Blah, blah, blah. And, that, and that's what we got, right? Now, Paul, uh, let's go ahead and turn on our uh, framing floor, framing floor right here. And uh, so now we need some girders, don't we? Uh, create framing. Uh, I think this is it. Uh, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, here it is over here. Uh, floor and ceiling beam. Let's put a couple beams in here, okay? Bam and bam. All right, perfect. Now we got a girder, right? Everything's okie doke. I still haven't gotten to the whatever, you know, the uh, planking, though. So but let's go ahead and put some posts in here. I think uh, uh, Paul wanted to put some posts in there. So here's our section right here. So let's let's put our posts in here for this darn thing. Uh, come over to here and post and start sticking those posts in there. And now, and now I've done this before. Now, no, now where's my freaking post, man? Framing floor right there. Now see, now see what the problem is. This post of footing is not following the uh, terrain, and I just did this recently. I'm, I'm doing it again for Paul's sake, because Paul is uh, Paul doesn't know what he's doing. So anyway, so in, instead of doing that, why don't we do this? Take this wall right here. You temporarily uh, go here in uh, general and uh, uh, no room definition. Now watch what happens. This thing's going to act like a um, a deck, and now these posts of footings are going to find the Look at that. Look at that on the section on the left-hand side. See how those posts and footings are following the grade? So that's that's what you got next, right? Now you go back over here and put a room definition in there, and uh, you're back to where you were a minute ago. Boop. Yeah. And so, you know, in the back row, I got these things in the wrong location, but since I did the uh, uh, non-room def for this particular wall for a second, I got the post following there. So done. So now, but Paul says uh, he does not want floor choice. So let's go ahead and change the floor assembly. Floor structure. Well, get rid of the floor joists, Paul. Delete them, man. Okay? Now watch what happens. Now you should have plywood through there, right? There you go. Oh. Ain't that interesting. Do I have to put those beams back in? Maybe I have to put... Maybe I have to put the beams back in once I changed it up, huh? Well, uh, oh, hang on a second. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of this. Let's put a, maybe I have to, uh, I, I would have figured that uh, beam would have automatically re relocated itself, okay? But obviously not. There's your beam. There's your beam that supports... And it's plywood, isn't it, Paul? It's plywood, right? Pull this back to here and give it a seat or something. I don't know. There. And now you got to come back over here and make that a, a U non-room def again. I don't know what's going on there. But I'll put my posts in there, and they should be uh, following the terrain again. Now I come back over here and make that a room def again. Oh, I forgot to make it a non-room bed. So, so all the posts are in the wrong location. Yeah, I should have made that a non-room bed. You, non-room def. Now I come over here, get rid of these posts and footings. Oh, I'm going to get rid of my camera. I don't want to do that. Boop. Delete it. And now I'll put my posts and footings. I can't see this morning, man. My, my eyes are giving me a hard time. Uh, there. Now, now my 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 whatever's you know they're following it. Okay, pretty good. You come back over here. You and uh, no room depth. Now, really, Paul does not want. Now, where where's the plywood, Paul? Go to floor surfaces. Turn it on. 
And now you got your, I hate this, man. Rooms. I can never get this straight. Oh, turn on the rooms. Okay, uh, you. Turn on, turn on, I want to see the plywood, okay? I don't want to see the, what do you think I'm looking at right there? You think I'm looking at the room finish and not the plywood? I never get this. I, I just, I, it's backwards to me. Uh, I want to turn off the, oh, floor surfaces. Maybe that, that that's off. I like it off. Now I turn off the rooms. Uh, this, this is always backwards to me. Turn off the rooms. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, someone I think had it figured out, but I cert. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong one. That's you, big ninny. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, floor surfaces. I want to turn the floor surfaces off. I want to see the plywood. I don't see the plywood though. I got the I got the floors off. I'm gonna get to your 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 questions in a second. Floor surfaces on. Come over to here, rooms. These are two. These are the the mystery mystery layers. Believe me, rooms. Oh, turn rooms off. Maybe if I turn rooms off, I'll see the plywood. Nope. I don't know. It, it's it's weird to me. Sometimes I see the. Uh, all J. Maybe I, if I do it this way. No, well, see, I still I see I see my ply. I see my. Uh, okay, I'll do it the easy way. You get rid of my floor finish. That's all I'm going to do. Delete. Delete. Now I should see plywood. Yeah. Now I see plywood. Okay. Uh, you want to do it in render view? There's your plywood. But that's not what Paul wants. Paul really wants uh, planking. Then I want floor joists. He does not want uh, plywood. He wants planking. So how do you do that? Come up to this level here. You. You. Uh, uh, floor structure. Change this to 1.5. Change this to fur framing. And uh, okay. Okay. Now, now he's got one by. Give me a second. I gotta think. Come on, I want to. Uh, I want to change the width of my floor system. Oh, you stu oh, it, no, it's one and a half inches thick. That's right, but it's really, really wide. Okay, so all I need to do is turn on my... I, I, I've never done this. So I want to... Uh, I want to do my joist direction. And I want my joist to run that way. But I, I don't want to. This is good. I'm stuck. Hold on. Okay, I'm back on. So I want the two by. Uh, these are two by six joists at 16. You. Now I. You. Hey. You. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, depth of. Interesting. I want these to be at uh, three inches on center. Doesn't work. Sorry, I was changing the framing of my ceiling. I, uh, dumb me. Okay, uh, joist direction right here. Here's my joist, and they're two. They're three by twos. Oh, uh, three by twos at six inches on center. Well, really, what? I, It's 16 inches on center. I really want these to be um, spacing. I want these to be six inches on center. Let's try that. There. So I'm getting closer, right? But you still want planking, don't you? And you probably want it on an angle. And I can put some more girders in there. Now I'm having it on, a, on an angle. Now they're three by twos, because they're. But I really want. Uh, I think he really wants uh, two by tens or ten by twos. 
and he really wants the 10 by 2s, U, and I think he really wants those things that, uh, since they're 10 inches wide, uh, they're going to be 9 and a half inches, he wants them at really at 9.5 inches on center. So now all I have to do is figure out how to get the uh, width of these things. All I have to do is figure out how to get the width. Hold on. Okay, you're going to have to suffer through this with me. File. Uh, edit defaults. Default settings. I know, I know this is going to be a problem. Joist width, instead of one and a half inches, I want them 9.5 inches wide, okay? Is that going to do it? Am I on the wrong level? Edit. Default settings. Framing. Edit. Floor. Uh, floor. If I could see what the... Choice width. Nine and a half inches. Oh. 9.5. What am I doing? Edit. Default settings. Framing. Edit. Oh, right there. Is that it? That's, that's it right there. God, am I so slow? God dang it, man. Done. F12. There it is. 10 by 2s at 9.5 inches on center. That ain't quite right, though, is it? You. Spacing, nine and a half inches. Suppose I make it 24 inches. You. Suppose I make it uh, two inches. Is that weird? You. The depth is one and a half. I get that. The spacing is nine inches. That's weird. That's not what I expected. Let's just straighten this out for a second. You. How about if I make it one inch on center? Is that weird? I mean, why, why is that not light? Why is it not working right? You, how about if I make it, uh, hang on. I, 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 I got my planking for Paul, pretty much, okay? Yeah, there, there's the planking. But why is it one inches on center? That's really weird. How about if I make it you, hang on. Tab, tab, tab. Stop it. Tab, tab, you. How about if I make it 0.25 inches on center? How about if I make it 0.5 on center? How about if I make it 1 inches on center? Check that out, man. Oh, you, if I make it 0.5, it should, if I make it 0.5, that's really weird. I bet I bet it looks good in section, but it's half inch on center. Does it see that? And there's no gap in there. See, I would have thought that would have been nine and a half inches on center, wouldn't you? So anyway, there, there's Paul's uh, whatever. And then if Paul wants, he can uh, put this on an angle. See, now he's got his planking on, on an angle. Check out that. Uh, let's just uh, twist it around a little bit more. Look, look at the spacing. It's kind of a oh half inch. Yeah, it's a half inch gap. In most cases, some of these things don't get the half inch gap. That's kind of weird. But I think that's essentially what. Hang on, cancel. No, no. I think that's what Paul wanted. If I go to vector view, there's his planking. And that's what he wanted, W. 
See, and uh, well, anyway, you, you got your sill plate. You got your you got your sill you got your sill plate here. The planking sits on the sill plate, and then you got your two by four. Uh, you got your sill plate on top of your stem wall. Then you got have you have one and a half inch or one and a half inch of your two by decking, and then you got this right here. Now I I I got to be quite frank with you. Um, uh, suppose I had another another structure right next to it. How is that going to frame? I mean, is that going to use this? And, and I want floor joists and plywood. Uh, fly, floor joists and plywood on that one, not like this. Can I do that? Because this is all controlled in the defaults. See, that's that's a default right there. But suppose I don't want that as a default. Okay, start over. Stop. Tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this area, edit, edit, and uh, edit area, all floors, right there. Eight to copy. Stick it over here. But on this one, I want I want regular flooring on it. Okay, so let's see if I can do it. A U, uh, floor structure, uh, insert, point uh, seven five. OSB, OSB. This is uh, uh, 9.25 for framing lumber. Yep. Not good. F12. I got my plywood, and then I got my uh, my joists. But now the joists are are nine and a half inches wide, and I don't want those joists to be nine and a half inches wide. You got what I'm saying? So there's a there's a gap. There's a there's a problem here. I want them. You know, I want I want to use two by tens. You. I want those to be a 16 inch. I don't know. I want them to be six. Oh shit! Where did 36 inches on center come in? I want them. I want them to be 16. Something's really funny here. I I, I don't get this, man. The great Glenwood might be able to get this for me, but I I can't. It's not ideal. I'm done. I, until I figure this out, I'm done. But I, I was able to do it for one structure. But if you get two structures on the same level, I don't think you can do it. Because, and the reason is because the width of the joists are controlled in the the width of the joist. Oh, I did that again. There we go. You. I'm sorry about that. You. These got to be uh, 16 inches on center. And I don't want them to be, I don't want them to be 10 by 10 joists. The depth is right. I get that. But I, I can't control the width. That, that, that's the problem with this. Sorry, I, I was up on the wrong level again. So if I cut a section through there, yeah, now the spacing is correct. But the width of these joists are, are all wrong. And how, what is controlling the width of the joists? It's the default for that floor. Now I'm going to put a, I'm going to, I'm going to put a, uh, I'm going to put a, a, a ceiling on this thing, you. Let's see how that frames. That's because I have the uh, defaults for the f uh, default settings, framing, editing, uh, subfloor. It should be 1.5. You. U, 5.5, because I'm, I'm dealing with this. Yeah, see, now I got the C. But now I, okay.
default settings framing um, ceiling above floor one sorry ceiling above floor one I, I screwed it up again 1.5 done mother F12 oh I, I do I not have automatic framing on Oh, now it's fixed. Sorry, now it's fixed. Okay, okay. So backing up, I, I'm able to control the two by joys up top, but it's just at the at the floor foundation level itself. Well, here's the deal. Um. Paul, I, I there, there's some more videos I've done on this. I I think that what to Look, here's the deal. I've got two stru two two floor structures on the same right. Uh, go down a level, and I'm I'm gonna tell you something. This is the way you're gonna have to handle this. I think unless I can think of something else. W. Uh, ship G. Uh, I want to see my framing. Uh, framing floor. Okay. The width of the joists are controlled in the defaults. I do not think you can have two different structures with two different width of floor joists. Why? I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. But if you insist on that, and if it will... Look, I, I, I did it for one building, but if you have a second building, that's where you can have problems. And so in that particular case, I did a video on this, and that is where you actually, um, I think what you would do is you would um, uh, make a floor assembly. You can make a floor assembly and, and totally manufacture it yourself. And the way you would do that is, uh, suppose you wanted a 2 by 8s flat or so. Create the floor assembly one and a half inches thick. This is what I'm telling you to do, you. Floor structure. Make this floor structure one and a half inches thick. Just one layer, one and a half inches thick. Plan material, opening no material. So really you don't have anything. But what you're doing is you're defining the space that your man-made planking or joists are going to go in. And, and, what, and how you make that is out of a roof baseline with a zero slope. And then I think you can I think you can control all the, uh, uh, the depths and the thicknesses of those things and the spacing, I believe. Boy, I thought this was going to be a lot easier than it was, so obviously it wasn't. So to sum this up, cancel, F6, uh, Alt-J, uh, Alt, Alt-J. Uh, to sum this up, I think I was able to do what you wanted to do. And that is you want a flat planking, and I showed you how to do the flat planking. The problem arises when you have a second building on there, and you don't want flat, flat planking on that, so psh, tough so that's how you do the planking on this that's that's the end sorry about being so long